As far as feeling what your spine feels like in standing, again, it's a different orientation, a different shape. So I always like to tap into, okay, I'm standing now, we're taking a different shape. Just check in with yourself. How is this feeling for me right now? Okay, so closing your eyes or softening your gaze, just body scanning. How am I feeling now that I've got load through my spine in an upright posture? I just, just a smidge. Okay. All right, so once you've kind of gathered information for your own self, we're going to we're going to explore with a variety of bending forward movements. And again, if you're feeling discomfort in your back um, or any type of flare at the moment, please always listen to your body and do what's right for you. So you don't have to necessarily go as far as I go. Um, this is really an experiment about trusting your own sensory experience. I cannot uh, stress that enough. You have an inherent wisdom in your own self um, to decide how, how willing you are to experiment with some of these um, sensory explorations, okay? So I make suggestions, um, but please make them your own. All right, so, so spinal flexion or bending forward. We're going to do a folding forward, so starting with your arms above your head, reaching. If it's accessible for you, you can slightly bend your back or like lean into, like pretend like you have somebody that you're leaning into. And then fold forward, but just allow your whole back body to really curl in. So really curling in, you don't have to worry about whether the back is straight or not. Just let your hips hinge, let your spine flex, let your body hang. And then again, you can move and pedal out your knees for, for some of us, like me. <laughs> um, there's some resistance and tension that builds up in the back of my legs initially. But you'll begin to notice, again, initially, it might be a little challenging, but as you ease into just letting yourself soften into the shape and adding some movements with your knees, like for me, this feels good, um, you'll notice that the sensation of tension or tightness, um, that it might change, that it might be a little less intense, okay? If you can reach the ground, you can lean forward, reach the ground, and also pedal out your entire foot with your knee, if you can. Again, if you're just here exploring, that's completely fine. Or if you're just here exploring, that's completely fine. Okay? So just noticing what that feels like to allow yourself to let go into the shape of curling and hanging, okay? Now, and you could, you know, as I'm talking, uh, you could also explore, okay, I'm here, and then I'm here. I'm here, forward folded, and then I rise up. So you're just kind of flowing. You can flow between the two shapes, again, to notice what that feels like in your own body. Okay, so giving you a couple of more moments to just notice how your spine, your hips, your pelvis, and your whole spine feel in this shape versus this shape, or this shape, or just this shape. <laughs> and there's so many options. So we'll all be in a, a forward position. And then again, just having you explore with your breath. Again, if it's comfortable for you, you could also have a bolster in front of you if the floor, if you want to raise the floor and have a support underneath you. So that is another option that I forgot to mention. Okay. 
So if you're here and you're flexed and your spine is bent, go ahead and breathe into your lower back again. Again, just noticing what that feels like when you breathe into your lower back. In this shape. Slowly roll your spine up. You can add a little back bend again if that feels good for you or here. And again, breathing into whatever shape, counter shape you want to take. And then again, focusing the breath on the spine, what that feels like. Okay. The second shape that we'll explore with is bending forward but without hinging at your hips. So you're curling your spine, head all the way down, vertebrae by vertebrae, but you're not allowing your hips to hinge. So again, you're experimenting with what that feels like if I allow my whole spine to curl, but I'm not hinging at my hips. And then explore with what that feels like as you roll up, like a fruit roll up. I don't know if any of you know what that is, but it was my favorite um, candy when I was a kid, <laughs> that and Gushers. <laughs> um, so curling down and slowly vertebrae, 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 curling up. And again, that could, you can add a little back bend if that's for you or Raise your arms above your head towards the sky. And then as you roll down, experimenting with that feels like with your back. And of course, you, you probably know by now I love play. So even if you're in this shape, know that you're not static. So if you're in this shape and you want to like experiment with moving your hips a little bit more, deepening your knees, you know, adding a little bit of bending movement, you can do that as well. And oftentimes it is common for us to want to hold our head up <laughs> to see the world, but I encourage you to see what it would feel like if you just let your entire spinal system just curl and hang. And then coming back up and again, wiggling your hips a little bit, getting some movement in, maybe some circles. <laughs> Whatever floats your boat. Okay, so now, and we're gonna grab our bolsters or object or whatever we have accessible in our spaces right now. And we're gonna just practice, like not practice, but explore what it feels like to lift something from the ground in various different ways, like variety, variability. So for some, it might mean doing this, picking it up, putting it down. Again, be careful if it's something heavy and weighted, watch your toes. Watch the floor. But again, you can pick something up like this, put it down. We're often taught to pick stuff up like this. But I, I, I want to challenge our comfort and say, again, if it's right for you and you feel willing to do this, pick it up like this. <laughs> We've already warmed up our, our tissues, those visco viscoelastic properties are already in work, so, you know, move it around. And notice in your own body, again, how, how, how different, how many ways that you can pick something up differently. Like for me, if I wanted to pick this up this way, I could do that. So take your bolster or whatever object and again, explore with it. Feel your body and how differently it feels when you're in different shapes, lifting something, putting it down, stooping to pick it up, squatting to put it down. Okay, so experiment with that. And a friendly reminder, breathe. <laughs> breathe, breathe, breathe. Remember. Breathing in itself 
allows for efficiency, adaptability, and resilience of movement. Helps to modulate the pressure systems within our body. And again, don't just take my word for it about like the variability and posture and how we do things. I encourage you to, to type in your computer when this is all done. Look up um, strongman competitions or women competitions uh, where they're lifting very heavy, like tons <laughs> of stones and, and, and things. And you'll notice that each one of them are going to be doing things differently. It's all based on your individual architecture, your tissue tolerance, capacity training, uh, adaptability, et cetera, et cetera. And, you know, you'll find a lot of them picking things up like this or Olympic weightlifters that are doing deadlifts. Well, there's always some spinal flexion that's, be, that's happening. Rowers, rowers also. So, you know, this concept of having a neutral spine or pelvis or being in any one rigid posture, it really logically does it, biologically and logically doesn't make um, sense because we're so adaptable and strong and resilient and amazing. You're amazing. 